Hi, I'd like to show you how to make this cute card using the Big Shot and the Stamp It Up Beautiful Butterflies Bigs Die. For the background, I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry 5.5 by 8.5. Along the very bottom, I'm going to use some Whisper White cardstock 1 inch by 5.5 and inches and just tape that across the bottom. Then from our designer series paper Raz Razzleberry Lemonade, I'm going to use some of this print, an inch and a half by five and a half inches. And then the coordinating cardstock of Melon Mambo. That'll be an inch and three fourths by five and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and mount those together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mount that to the back of my card. I'm gonna use my grid paper to line up my card so that I make sure that I have the same spacing from one end to the other. And this will be about a half an inch up the white. Now for the butterfly I'm going to use some crushed curry. Um, approximately three and a half by five inch scrap and then for the inside of the butterfly I'm going to use some more of the designer series Razzleberry Lemonade just two and a half by three and a half. When you're using when you're using a die that has a regular shape like this, you can just put a solid colored sheet of cardstock over it. When you're using something that goes along the edge, you need a folded crease along that edge. So you need to make sure that you fold your cardstock and put the fold along that edge where the um, die runs off the edge of the paper. So then it'll be two butterfly wings. So I'm going to make my sandwich again. I'm going to do the large butterfly first. So I'm laying down my crease where the blank spot is for the wings. I'll push it two to get my push it through to get my wheel started. So then I have my first set of butterfly wings. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other set. The inside is the color that I'm going to use on my designer paper and I'm going to line it up on the white the, the blank spot where the cutters don't go on the smaller butterfly. If you make a mistake and put your fake paper fold so that it doesn't line up with where the cutters are, you'll end up with something like this where it doesn't finish all the way. You can fix that quickly just by using your scissors and finishing the cut. Just follow the line where it was going to be. Sometimes it's a little tricky on some of the smaller ones. So I'm going to take the two butterflies and just put a little bit of glue in between them to hold them together. Just using some snail adhesive on that. Then I'm going to use some of the Whisper White Taffa ribbon. And I'm also going to use some silver hodgepodge hardware. I'm going to make a pointed tip so that it goes through the ribbon slider a little bit easier. Okay, line it up so that your embellishment is in the middle of the butterfly. And just tie it across the back. On my butterfly, I cut the tail off completely, and on the top part, to kind of make it look like the antennas, I just did a little V cut. So it looks like that. Okay, before I mount my butterfly to the center of my card, I want to put my title on in the corner. So using my stamp a jig and the teeny weeny Wishes stamp set. It's new in this catalog. Um, I really like it. It's got a lot of little sayings and stuff, so you can pretty much make a card and then stamp it later because all this, the titles are about the same size. This is using my Rich Razzleberry marker. Now on the back of the butterfly, I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to use right next to the ribbon, I'm going to put two dimensionals on either side. And I'm 
gonna put the butterfly on the card, just a little offset, just a little crooked. Press that down, and then I'm gonna kind of bend the wings up a little bit, starting with the outer one, and then the inner one. And there you go.